Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice the radio. So today, I am here to share with you some, some weird news that I really, really did not expect to be sharing with you sitting here in May 2021. You see, it turns out that there is a reprint coming of the Sun and Moon base set. Yeah. Did not see that one coming. Now, I do need to really couch this news in a whole bunch of really rather impressive caveats. Because it is not just as simple as Pokemon is just reeling off booster box after booster box of Sun and Moon. And there is going to be stock absolutely everywhere. That is not what is actually running around and happening right now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be perfectly clear. But what is happening is that there is a reprint, restock, call it what you will, of the Sun and Moon Elite Trainer Box. Now, this has been listed over on GTS Distribution. That is one of the distributors over in the US. And essentially, they are currently taking orders for the Sun and Moon base set Elite Trainer Box. Now, to some of those caveats I mentioned a moment ago. As it stands at the moment, the only news I have been able to find is about a reprint specifically of the Elite Trainer Box, not of any other Sun and Moon products. So not of Sun and Moon booster boxes or any other associated products, promos, whatever. As it stands at the moment, this appears to just be Elite Trainer Boxes. Similarly, GTS is a distributor, I believe, over in the US. That means that if you are in the US and you can order from distributors in the US, you are going to be able to take advantage of this. If you are outside the US, I am not sure whether you're actually going to be able to get your hands on these. I've mentioned a few times that over in the UK, we have Asmodee as our sole distributor for the Pokemon trading card game. I believe that's correct. And that means that if Asmodee doesn't have access to the same stock as GTS, then in Europe, we're probably not going to get this. Now, it is important at this stage to then ask the question, is this even a reprint at all? Now, I probably put reprint in the thumbnail and title, etc. Because what I'm trying to tell you in this video is more stock is becoming available. And using the word reprint gets that point across. If I tell you a reprint is coming... I'm assuming that 99% of you don't really care where it's coming from and whether it's actually a reprint or not. I'm telling you that new stock is being made available and reprint gets that case across. However, it might not be a reprint. It might be some old stock that had been kept somewhere else. It might be old stock being released or unsold stock from somewhere else being redistributed, etc. I don't know if it is technically a reprint or not. It might be old stock appearing and being redistributed. So that's all my caveats out of the way. As it stands at the moment, what we know is Sun and Moon Elite Trainer Boxes in the US. That is what we know as it stands at the moment. We call brilliant. So, how cool is this? Now, if we want to actually put a date on this, the Sun and Moon TCG, the base set of Sun and Moon, was released in English on February the 3rd, 2017. Which means, as I'm sitting here, we are talking four years and three months. In fact... By the time this comes out, it's going to be four years and four months since the release that we're actually getting new stock being sent out. I'm going to keep using the word reprint, but we all know it might not technically be a reprint, all right? We all call that brilliant. This is fun. Now, I often have questions from people a lot lately because of the way the Pokemon trading card game has been. And the question is essentially, what are the chances of... X set being reprinted. Now, the general rule, and I do think as a general rule this holds, is that older sets are very unlikely to be reprinted. And that shouldn't really surprise anyone, because if you go and think about it logically, Pokemon are a profit-making company. They want to make money. That is the goal of the Pokemon Company International. And generally speaking, people nowadays 
they don't want sun and moon. The sets that people want nowadays are sets like Battle Styles and Vivid Voltage. They are, of course, the most recent sets that have been released. They have lots of fun cards in. They are the ones that people are going to be generally looking out for when they go to shops. And then we've got sets like Shining Fates, for instance, which are your special sets that have more shiny cards than average and things of that nature. So if you are the Pokemon company and you've only got so much capacity in your factories or the factories you're renting, you need to put that capacity where you are going to make the most money. Which nowadays is printing sets like Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, and Shining Fates. That is what Pokemon should be printing in order to maximize their profits. Which, nothing bad about the Pokemon company, that is the goal of every profit-making company. That is what they do. So, generally speaking, we would not expect a reprint of a four-year-old set. Because it doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Which, incidentally, is why I think it might be old inventory which is being redistributed rather than new inventory which is being printed. But either way, this is still a very cool thing. Now, one of the questions right away, and this is a question any time there is a reprint, this is a question that I get a lot. What's going to happen to my Sun and Moon Elite Trainer Box? Excellent question. Now, if I go over onto US eBay at the moment, again, it's only really fair to look at US eBay, given that US eBay is the one where, you know, they're actually getting the reprints. We can see that one is being listed for $138. If I scroll down a little bit more, the next listing is for $129. Basically, they are being listed for treble the RRP. Elite Trainer Boxes in the US should be like 40 bucks. This is a standard one, internet. It's a standard Elite Trainer Box. So they're being listed at about three times RRP. Interesting, of course, because if you want, for instance, Crimson Invasion. Yeah, Crim Crimson Invasion. You can pick it up for like $55. Only a tiny bit above RRP. And Crimson Invasion was, well... It's also a very old set. It was, if I remember correctly, the fourth Sun and Moon set. Crimson Invasion launched in November 2017. So we're talking a set that's almost as old. But no one likes Crimson Invasion. It's really sad, but nobody does. So this is the kind of reprint people want. In the short term, oh yeah, the price of that is going to tank. If new stock of Sun and Moon Elite Trainer Boxes is going to be coming out... You are not going to be able to sell for more than treble RRP. That should be a given. Incidentally, and look, I am not giving financial advice. I am giving you the news. This is a news video. I am a news channel generally. We, I am not giving you investment advice or telling you how to spend your money or anything like that. I am a news channel. I am bringing you the news and oh, it's not just a news channel, it's an everything Pokemon channel. But this kind of video, we're talking about the news. I cover plenty of non-newsy stuff, but... This is news. I'm giving you the best news I can as it is at the moment. And I am telling you that right now I can go to the GTS distribution website. And if I was someone that could order from distributors in the US, I would be able to put an order in for Sun and Moon Elite Trader Boxes. So if I was in the US, I wouldn't buy one of these right now for treble RRP. I would wait a little bit. Until they start getting into shops again. And then I would go and buy one for less than one third of the price. If you are trying to sell one, you need to sell before the reprints hit. Or you need to wait until the reprints are long gone. Now, of course, we then get to the question of, well, all right then, Wossy. Sun and Moon, what's it like? Like Sun and Moon as a set, is it the kind of set we want to have a reprint of? Well, my history series on this channel, where I chart the complete history of the Pokemon trading card game, great example of a non-news video series, I've not reached the Sun and Moon base set yet, so I can't just pop you towards that video. But basically speaking, in terms of playability, it's still legal and expanded. There are a bunch of good cards. In terms of the standard format, Obviously, this has long since rotated. There were very, very cool cards in the set, like Decidueye GX, which had that amazing ability that dropped two damage counters. 
That was kind of awesome and saw a whole bunch of play. That was one that people really liked. I was a huge fan of Incineroar. Never worked. But, you know, I, I wanted it to work. And I loved it. Lapras. Lapras GX. Bearing in mind, we are we are well back in the GX era at this stage. Which is, um, yeah. <laughs> We're going back a few years. But that was cool. People made decks built around that. So... That was kind of fun. There were there were plenty of good cards. Oh, the Viker Vault that accelerated energy. That was one that I, I really liked. We built a whole bunch of decks around that. That was one people got very excited about. We had the Alolan Muck, which turned off the abilities of basic Pokemon. So that was one that people really liked and played a whole bunch of. That was cool. Obviously, we had Solgaleo, which had that amazing ability which switched and it had the amazing attack which or the gx attack which accelerated a bunch of energy uh persimian with the team play attack that was a favorite for a lot of people including myself we had umbreon gx that is a very cool card that was one that i was a huge fan of and i'm a bit of an umbreon fanboy myself so there were plenty of cool playable cards oh i should give a shout out to tauros as well shouldn't i that was a very cool card that saw a bunch of play Oh, and Oran Guru! The Instruct Oran Guru! How could I forget that? That was an amazing card. So now we need to go to the question of, well, all right then. There were some amazing cards. I might be able to use them um, in Expanded, but I'm not going to be playing Sun and Moon in Standard. So what I would really like at this stage, what would be really cool, is pulling some money cards out of the set. So I suppose I should tell you what the money cards in the set actually are now, shouldn't I? Well, Lily. Like, straight off the bat, it's Lily. There is a full art Lily in the set. That is definitely one of the best cards in the set. We've then got the Rainbow Rares of Espeon and Umbreon GX. Those are clearly extremely sought-after cards. And then you've got gold cards of Ultra Ball and Switch. And I suppose we could give a, a bit of a shout out to the secret rares of Psychic and Metal Energy, because they're kind of cool. It's not a great set for money cards. Like, even all the cards I just listed out to you, I could go and buy all of those for like 50 bucks or less right now. It's not a great set if you're trying to pull cards to, to sell on to make a profit. That is not the kind of set that it is. It was actually a very cool set, but the reason it's a cool set is because it had lots of playable cards. You know, it's a base set. And the thing about a base set is they are always designed, because Pokemon know they're going to rotate to that set on at some point. So the whole point of a base set is to really give everybody what they need so that when this is the, well, base of the format, we can essentially use that and go and have a bunch of fun with it. And in that regard, it's a great set with a lot of really good staple cards. It introduced us to a whole bunch of good decks. But it is extremely fair to say that in terms of a money set, it's not really there. So it's a weird kind of set. The Elite Trainer Boxes have increased in value significantly since the set dropped. Even though there aren't really any money cards in the set, not like that. And we're getting a reprint four years later. Which is definitely weird, but I know there are going to be a whole bunch of people that want to go and get these. I suspect a lot of the people are really just going to want to have one of these for their sealed collection, and they haven't been able to get one up to now. Whatever your reason, if you're in the US and you want one of these, wonderful news. If you're not in the US, I'm not saying that these aren't coming out and they're not being made available, but I am trying very, very hard at the moment to make sure that the news I'm sharing is specific and not misleading. And if I told you that there was just a blanket reprint of Sun and Moon coming out, that would be misleading and I would have to feel a bit bad about myself. What we know right now, elite trainer boxes in the US, everything else, I suppose we'll have to wait and see. But for now, I want to hear from you guys. I want to know if this is a set you want to see reprinted. I want to know if you're going to be running out to buy one of these Elite Trainer Boxes. I want to know, quite frankly, anything you want to tell me. So go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. 
And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio